Hello and welcome to this GCSE English language lesson, which is going to be looking at comparing writers' perspectives and methods. Now, this is, as I've said, a GCSE English language lesson. However, there are going to be many aspects of what is going on today which actually cross over with GCSE English literature, not least of all one of the texts that we're looking at. Now, before we go into the lesson itself, I'm going to give you two quotes which are going to form the very core of today's lesson. The first quote is taken from Heroes, the novel that you have been using in recent lessons. Now, this is taken from chapter 12 of Heroes, where Francis is contemplating suicide. In fact, he's gone as far as climbing to the top of the church steeple uh, when he realises that doing this will bring disgrace to his family and therefore decides to enlist in the army. He sees war is a route to redemption. He says, soldiers were dying with honour on battlefields all over the world. Noble deaths, the deaths of heroes. How could I die by leaping from a steeple? Now that's a profoundly ambiguous statement. There's a lot that we could say about that. But before we do, we're going to have a look at the other quote, which is taken from a poem from the AQA anthology, uh, which is of course the poem Exposure. Our brains ache in the merciless iced east winds that nive us. Wearied, we keep awake because the night is silent. Low drooping flares confuse our view over the salient. Worried by silence, sentries whisper, curious, nervous, but nothing happens. Now those two quotes portray some very different sides to war and there's an awful lot we can say about them. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at what today's lesson is going to be about. So. The objectives, as you can see here, are to be able to make comparative points about texts. And we're looking at making comparisons not only of perspectives, but also of methods of how the writer gets their message across. The two outcomes are going to be a plan, which will take the form of a mind map or a spider diagram. And then from that, you're going to be producing a two point essay. Now, without much further ado, let's get looking at what we're going to be doing. So to begin with, uh, I've put together a modelled answer here of how to go about planning. You can see I've also speeded it up to make the process a bit less painful. Now to begin with, I've taken the quote from Heroes and I'm noting down the perspective there. I'm saying here that the young Francis, who is speaking at that point, is naive. He is somebody who is perhaps optimistic in some ways, but he, he doesn't see perhaps the reality of war. Now, when I'm talking about methods, I'm going to focus on language choice. I've looked at the choices of the word noble and thought about all those connotations that nobility has. And I've also had a look at the choice of the word heroes, which has huge uh, connotations and resonances in the context of this book. Now, I would go on to add a few more things there, but I've left that for you. And I've put an overall point there saying that to Francis, war equals redemption of a sort, although a very twisted redemption. Now I'm putting down there some uh, notes about Owen's poem. As you can note, or as you can see there, I've not put any specific detail there, but just a reminder that you need to note about the perspective and the methods that are used. Now at that point, you should have uh, a reasonably concrete plan and have had a chance to think about some of the things that you're going to say there, because these are two very complex um, glimpses into two very different, yet also similar texts. Heroes uh, by no means is uh, optimistic and positive about war. You know, the very title itself uh, problematizes that notion of heroism. Um, however, at that point in the novel, uh, the young Francis seems to be kind of naive, and there's a lot we can say about him there. Now let's have a look at how I want you to turn this into an answer. So I've got another example up here on the visualizer. Now this is not a full answer, I'm just putting in a few key things for you and signalling to you that this should be written in a fairly formal essay style and as ever we should be looking to develop the points that we make. So to begin with, I have said that the young Francis um, is presented as a naive uh, character. I've said here that we see this 
um, in some of the things that he says. And he sees that war is a form of redemption. I've then talked about methods. So I've said the writer uses language choices to portray this. And then I'm going to look at a specific example. And in my plan there, I'd had two things I could talk about. I had the choice of uh, heroes and of course the references to nobility. I've then put in a contrasting point there where I'm going to start talking about Owen and what he says about war because there is some apparent contrast to begin with, although it's fair to say that these two uh, texts end up going in a very similar direction. Uh, they both see the dark side to war. Now, that's the response that we're looking for from you. So it's only covering those two details, but there's a lot of thought and discussion in there. And the best answers will acknowledge that ambiguity. They'll acknowledge that these are perspectives offered within larger texts, in particular heroes. Francis, remember, uh, frames his, his narrative is framed from several different points. And at that point, he's writing about the young Francis, the young version of himself, who went off to war in order to find some kind of escape and redemption. It was driven by a, a suicide drive. So th there's a lot that we can say there. It's very complex. And the best answers will acknowledge that. They will say that there is not just one side to this. Well, I hope that you find that useful. Please make sure your work is shared with your teacher in the usual way. And I look forward to seeing you again.